Welcome to TLE 7, Quarter 4, Industrial Arts. Today, we will tackle the Week 4, Lesson 4, the classification of tools in industrial arts services. Carpentry and Masonry Tools Carpentry tools, instruments, and equipment specifically designed for woodworking and construction tasks primarily related to shaping, cutting, joining, and finishing wood materials. Claw Hammer This tool is used to break an object, drive a nail or spike into another, or mold the desired shape of the material. Cross Cut Saw They are used to cut across the grain of the wood. Rip Saw They are used to cut along the grain of the wood. Circular saw, a powered handheld tool is used to cut wood. Hand drills, hand drills make holes in some wood crafts and are helpful in outdoor projects. Chisel, a cutting tool with sharpened edges at the end of metal blades are used for cutting or shaping woods. Measuring tape, measuring tape is a fundamental tool for accurately measuring various materials, primarily wood, Lengths, distances, and dimensions. Square. It is 90 degree standard right angle tool, sometimes called a tri or trying square, a meter square, a combined tri and meter square. Plane. A hand plane is a tool for shaping and refining wooden surfaces. Wood latte machine. A wood latte is a machine used in woodworking to shape wood into various cylindrical forms such as balusters. Masonry tools are instruments and equipment specifically designed for working with materials such as bricks, stones, concrete, blocks, and mortar in constructions and masonry projects. Trowel a handheld tool with a flat pointed blade is used for spreading and shaping mortar and scooping and applying other masonry materials. Float, a hand tool used for smoothing and finishing freshly applied mortar or concrete. Hook tool, a hook is a tool consisting of a flat, square board with a handle underneath. Masonry hammer, also known as a brick hammer, has a chisel-shaped edge for splitting bricks and a flat face for striking or setting bricks and stones. Masonry saw, a power tool equipped with a diamond trip blade for cutting bricks, blocks, or stones. Masonry drill, a drill bit specifically designed for drilling holes in masonry materials such as bricks, blocks, or concrete. Brick jointer, a handheld tool with pointed or rounded edge shape and smoothing mortar joints between bricks or blocks. Called chisel, a sharp edge for cutting bricks and shaping stone in masonry works. Next, the construction, painting, and metal works tools. Paint brushes. Paint brushes are handheld tools with bristles used for applying paint to surfaces. Roller frames. Roller frames are handle devices that hold paint, roller cover, and facilitate smooth and even paint application. Paint trays. Paint trays are shallow containers used for holding paint during roller application. Paint scrapers. Paint scrapers are handle tools with sharp blades that remove old paint with dirt and debris from surfaces. Roller covers. Also known as roller sleeves, they are cylindrical sleeves made of absorbent materials such as synthetic fibers or sheep skin. Next, the metal works tools. Metal works tools are instruments and equipment specifically designed for shaping, cutting, joining, and finishing metal materials. Hacksaw. A handheld saw is cutting tool with fine tooth blade for cutting metal, rods, pipes, and sheets. Metal shear. A cutting tool used for shearing or cutting sheet metal, plate, and bar stock. Welding machine source. A power tool is used to join metal pieces together by melting and fusing them with heat. Grinding wheel. Rotating abrasive wheel grid smoothing and finishing metal surfaces. 
drill press, a machine used for precision and accuracy to drill holes in metal workpiece. Cut off. A cut off tool refers to a handheld power tool or machine used to cut through materials such as metal. Chipping hammer. A chipping hammer is a handheld tool used in welding and metal working to remove slag and unwanted materials from welded joints and metal surfaces. Next, the plumbing tools and tile setting tools. Plumbing tools are instruments and equipment specifically designed for installing, repairing, and maintaining plumbing systems, including pipes, fittings, fixtures, and appliances. Pipe wrench. A heavy-duty wrench with serrated teeth is used to grip and turn pipes. Pipe vise. A pipe vise is a specialized tool used in plumbing and pipe fitting to hold pipes. Pipe cutter. Are handheld tools used for cutting pipes. Pipe treader. A tool used in plumbing and pipe fitting to create threads on the end of pipes. Plumber. A rubber suction cup attached to a handle clears clogged rings and toilets. Tile setting tools, are specifically designed for installing, aligning, cutting, and finishing ceramic, porcelain, or stone tiles during tiling projects. Tile cutter, a handle tool used for cutting ceramic, porcelain, or stone tiles to size. Tile saw. With a diamond tip, blade cut style significantly larger or thicker than those that cannot be cut with a manual tile cutter. Tile trowel, a handheld tool with a flat notch blade, spreads adhesive or mortar. Tile leveling system, a system of clips and wedges ensures the level and uniform tile installations. Grout float. A handheld tool with a flat rubber or foam pad applies and smooths grout into the joints between tiles. Next, the electrical and electronic tools. First, we have the wire stripper. Removes insulation from electrical wire to expose the conductive metal underneath. Multimeter volt ohm millimeter, also known as volt ohmmeter. A handheld device for measuring electrical parameters, such as voltage, current, resistance, and continuity. Wire crimper. Tools for attaching terminals or connectors to the end of electrical wires. Voltage tester. A handheld tool for quickly and safely checking and presence of electrical voltage in wires, outlets, switches, and other electrical components. Circuit tester. Continuity tester or test light is a handheld tool for checking the continuity or integrity of electrical circuits. Next, the electronic tools. Soldering iron. Used for soldering electronic components. Soldering stand. Also use a tool to hold the soldering iron when it's not in use. Spectrum analyzer. Used to measure frequency information on a signal. Oscilloscope. They are used to measure the timing information around a signal. Logic analyzer. Captures and analyzes digital. Signal generator. Produces precise electrical signals of different frequencies and waveforms for testing electronic devices. Next, the automotive and small engine puts. Socket wrenches. They are used for loosening and tightening nuts and bolts of various sizes. Spark plug socket. A specifically designed socket for removing and installing spark plugs in engine cylinders. Combinations of wrenches, adjustable wrench, and specialty wrenches for different applications. The torque wrench. Used to apply a specific amount of torque to fasteners to ensure they are tightened to the correct specification. Oil filter wrench. They are designed to remove and install filter on vehicle. Jack and jack stands. Essential for lifting and supporting vehicle safely during maintenance and repair work. Battery tester. Check the voltage and condition of vehicle batteries. Diagnostic scan tool, 
used to scan for a diagnosed problems in the vehicle on board. That's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.